Yeah, good afternoon, friends. We have uh, Dr. Eknath B. Khedkar. He is the Vice President of Ajinkya uh, D.Y. Patil University, Pune. Uh, we welcome you in today's forum, uh, sir. Thank you. So myself, I will repeat. Myself, Dr. Eknath Khedkar, Vice President, Ajinkya D.Y. Patil University, as well as Vice President of <coughs> Decision Science Institute, Houston, USA. Again, I am also Vice President of one international association, uh, of uh, Asia Pacific and Middle East International Society for Data Science and Innovation. Uh, we have established this association in 42 countries. The head office is at Nagpur. I am Nagpur. Uh, this is about me. Now I would like to first congratulate uh, uh, Chandan Anand that he has organized this particular conclave very very systematically. I appreciate his effort that he has done in Maharashtra, particularly in Pune, by calling number of industry experts, industry people, and academician, vice chancellor, and the management people. Because of such types of event, uh, this is very, very important for a timely, because after the pandemic situation, no, I think this is the first event which he has organized. When the industry people meet academia or university, and university pe people meet uh, indust uh, industry, Definitely, what is the requirement and need of the industry for a day, the university can fulfill. The industry also see that what is the requirement from the industry side. Industry, academia always want that uh, students should be employed. Then how to make employable, what is the requirement. Such types of definitely event <coughs> give a very high level, you know, knowledge to all of us. This is one thing. Second thing, the topic which he has chosen about physical university or digital universities, government of India is bringing in the country. And this is a need because of this pandemic situations. And in <coughs> hereafter also, when the world is going to a digitalization everywhere, education 4.0 is already started at European and American countries. Whereas the Asian countries part, India is a little bit lacking. But now the government of India has taken a very correct decision to go for a digital university and it will take some time, maybe another four or five years, this university will get developed, few university will get developed and because of this the gross enrollment ratio of our country will go up suddenly, it will increase maybe more than 50% and when the educated people will increase, definitely final result of this, the GDP ratio will go up. There will be a number of small and medium scale industry, SME will come up. Because the, our Honorable Prime Minister is saying that Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And there is a need of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And this is possible only when we educate our more young people. For educating young, more young people, we don't have more universities. We don't have more colleges. Then how to do it? Digital university is one of the part where maximum number i feel that say 50 percent to 60 percent student will be you know, educated through the traditional university and remaining 50 to 40 percent student will be educated to through digital university and the enrollment ratio will go up and another important point in national education policy 2020 government has announced that the student can take a two degree at a time this is very very amazing and good good uh, you know good decision by the government, what will happen, student will get a knowledge in different, different field. Therefore, student can go for starting their businesses, student can go for doing various types of multi-level, uh, multi-level, you know, jobs. This is very, very important moves. Like person like me, even I, at, at this particular age also, I feel that I should go for collecting some degrees, I should go for taking some knowledge through digital university online while working. Therefore, working people, they will go for taking some degrees. People who are in village area, rural area, they don't have money. They can also join with this because government is making a lot of facilities in rural areas as far as the infrastructure and bandwidth is concerned. And therefore, I think this is very, very important event, uh, Anand sir, you have organized. And, uh, you know, the flash, flagship is there in this area. Uh, automatically, the academician also come to know that what is the requirement 
uh, for <coughs> developing this digital university, three important things are there. We have to go first for development of infrastructure, digital infrastructure, very, very important. It will take some time. Second, teacher training, very, very necessary teacher training. Number of teachers we have to train through this. And last part, curriculum development, content development. When we go for these three things, I think a lot of development will come. I would like to give the best wishes because of all this development in another four or five years, our GDP will go up and the country will go in 100% developing stage in another 10 to 15 years time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We were very glad to have you at this forum today.